I'm currently single. Actually, never even had a serious girlfriend. You know, I've had some things here and there where we've almost had a serious relationship, but it, no, nothing's ever panned out yet. So, and not looking for any one night stands. Definitely not. Uh, looking for marriage, 100. percent Yo, what about what about all these Brazilian chicks, dog? Yeah, too far that? away, man. <laughs> what if what away. if one flew to you? Would you be down? Sure. She came and visits. Can I ask, how are you looking? I'm not going to pay for the flight. (laughs) (laughs) How are you looking for marriage? Like, what are your kind of techniques for something like that? Um, Well, I'm trusting God 100%. I'm really not even looking for a wife uh, very hard right now. I'm really just focused on the kingdom and, and defending the faith. And I know that ultimately... You know, God's going to bring the right one in my path. And uh, as I continue to serve him and seek to, you know, grow as a man, grow uh, in, into the image of Christ, he's going to bring me the right one. I'm not in a rush. You definitely don't want to rush this thing. And that's, I think that's where a lot of people get it wrong. They, yeah. they um, rush relationships. What and does th- that look like to you? Like, what does the perfect... The right woman? Yeah. Uh, well, she has to love God. She has to... Uh, if she loves God, she's going to uh, really, if she's, even if she is, ha, does have feminist tendencies, mm-hmm. uh, if she truly loves God, she's going to, you know, more conform to his word. And even if we have to argue a few things out, you know, she doesn't have to be perfect. That's my point, right? Mm-hmm. She, she may have some, some problems there, but if I can work it out, then, you know, I'll, I'll stick with that kind of woman. But if she's not willing to change, then, you know. When you say change, what do you mean? Be more uh, submissive. She has to be okay with being submitted to the husband, as the scriptures say. Uh, Modest, not promiscuous. Um, In her apparel, in her dress. Um, She has to be attractive. I have to be attracted to her. Um, That's really it. I'm a simple man. She's got to love God. She's got to look good. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> so based. Okay. Let's go. There you have Any it. Any deal breakers? Uh, I don't really think so. I mean, I think I covered everything. If she's too much of a feminist, then yeah, that's a deal breaker. Yeah, about that, like, some people say Jesus was, like, the first feminist. He <laughs> also, taught, absolutely not. He taught oh. women how to read, mm-hmm. and he empowered them through, like, hey, choosing look, the right path. Hey, look, nothing wrong with women reading i think women need to be <laughs> I know, highly I, intelligent on this they need to be highly like, educated where did you hear he taught women people. how to read from people yeah where'd yeah. they hear that from probably other people yeah probably yeah feminists. yeah probably no no it wasn't from a feminist um i just think it's like religion as a whole is quite like educational and so i feel like he gave people opportunity to read and to learn and that's what they were pushing then um you know i really wouldn't define feminism as empowering women to read have education or mm-hmm. read books um feminism is more the idea of egalitarianism that men and women are equal now men and women are equal in the sight of god but other than that we're pretty much unequal on every level we think differently we are built biologically differently and so that results in societal differences and a different role to play in in uh, relationships you know we can't we can't have the same role god designed the man to be dominant and the woman to be his helper in genesis uh, god made Maybe yeah I would, I would say the best example of feminism in the bible <clears throat> is when uh eve led adam to eat the fruit oh, and so. caused mankind <laughs> to fall i'm not kidding that's feminism in the bible for you okay. you know it's <clears throat> you know it's interesting about that too is the early feminist writers explicitly wrote about how they worshiped lucifer for liberating women from the patriarchy of Yahweh. I just, when I think of feminism, I think of like just equal opportunity, education, everyone is treated fairly. I think understanding differences is a part of that as well. Ultimately, feminism is about um, liberating women. It was about pushing promiscuity to destroy the patriarchy. But the reality is patriarchy is inevitable. You guys, you're going. Facts. You're going Let's to go. You're going to have some guys at the top of this whole system, and uh, even if a woman she wants to be a career woman, right? She goes out, she becomes a, her own boss, a girl boss, CEO. She's still either going to be serving 
Well, she's not going to be serving the Heavenly Father. She's going to be serving the Father of Lies. She's going to be serving Satan. So Let's go. you're going to be <laughs> submitting to hey, some what kind are you of father. Actually saying right now. Wait, can well, I ask a that's question? Why we have a working woman who is serving Satan? Is that what you mean? <coughs> yeah, okay. You may not be like legitimately worshiping Satan, but if you're not following after Christ, you are worshiping yeah, Satan. Yeah, but isn't like part of Christ's service? So like, let's say her career is based around service and love. Sure. I mean, that's a good thing. Yeah. That's, that's a good thing. But if she is I'm really pushing back just because sometimes like when we have these conversations, people can like say their ideas and it's very generalized and it's not specific. Mm -hmm. And I kind of think like the specifics are extremely important okay. in uh, understanding each other. I wanted to say something really quick. I'm a CEO and I've been my own CEO for years and I take care of these women and I don't think a man could do it because they're the ones who hurt them. And a no. man cannot be over that house and the, and the safe houses we have because there would be too much temptation for other things to go on because what happens when they start going to church and they start being around men, they have a tendency to lean into them and try to start a relationship. So okay. I'm in my <laughs> right standing. So you said and guys my husband can't loves be me. CEOs? No, 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 no I, that's not I what she's saying. What she's saying her, her unique position yes. is one that only she as a woman could fill. And yes. I, would, I, I would also add Correct. to that, I, I would add to that, uh, I would add the nuance in the conversation that you are very, very well serving God in the position that you're in, bringing women out of, you know, prostitution, whatever else, wherever else they are, like you're absolutely serving God in that position. And I, I would also agree that a man almost certainly couldn't do that same job in the way that you're doing because you are uniquely equipped to have compassion for them as a woman that's had the same experiences and stuff. What he's getting at, though, see, the thing about feminism is there's there's been different waves of feminism, right? Like at first it was about empowering women uh, with like equal opportunities and stuff. You look at it today. A lot of the messaging coming out of feminism is that men are bad. Uh, the differences between the sexes are like social constructs and that like, mm. you know, traditional ideas around masculinity and femininity are bad social constructs that are oppressive and patriarchal. Right. And in that sense, that form of feminism is absolutely not compatible with mm -hmm. God's word because God charges us as men to lead in our households. Yeah. Right. Like we're, we're charged with leading in our households. We're charged with providing. We're also charged with loving our wives in a Christ like fashion. Right. But it, it does. The Bible does give men authority in that way over their household that it does not give women in the same way. But that's not a bad thing. No, of course not. And like I see it happen in Kosovo as well. It's quite traditional still. Um, but I just was a bit confused about the whole working and servicing. And so yeah, that's so why I'm just asking. Proverbs 31 is where the ideal woman is. Her characteristics are given. Yeah. And she works hard. She does a lot yeah. of You probably work. like it. Yeah, I yeah. see it there as well. It's like they don't stop. And so. so I'm not against a woman being a CEO if that's, you know, how I came across. And also, um, okay. but, yeah. but she should not be rejecting the family in favor of being a CEO, right? God designed them to raise and nurture children. Yeah, I think what, he, what he's getting at is a lot of women that, like nowadays, a lot of women that are working or in high-powered positions because they're making a lot of money, they have authority in their careers, so on and so forth, they completely reject the leadership of the man in the home.